Hello. In this video, we're going to work with the strings.xml document. This document is designed by Android Studio and the Android developers to hold the strings that your program uses. By putting the strings in this document, you gain two advantages. One is very simple addition of strings. Secondly, when you go to internationalize your document, it is very simple to add in a second document, pick the language you wish, and once you learn the translations, type in the words that will appear in the different in the different region. Currently, I have a project on the screen. I am going to the proper purposes of this project is to calculate area. There are two text boxes, two buttons, and four text and four text areas. I'm going to use the strings XML document to put the words into those text areas. And we'll do this in two ways. The first way is to find the text box you wish or the text area you wish to edit and go to properties. The text properties which I wish to edit it currently says large text. If you were in Visual Studio or Java NetBeans you would probably just type the text there. If you're only going to make one application for one language that would be okay but if you're going to worry about reusing these strings or internationalizing you want to use the resources. So I'm going to start by clicking the ellipse. What I'm shown are the strings that are currently in Android Studio. None of these are what I want. So I'm going to click on New Resource, New String Value. A simple dialog pops up. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give it a value. Notice this is going to be set here in strings.xml. That's where I want it. I hit OK. And now it's displayed length in the screen. But if you look at the text property, it's got at strength slash len label. The at says find the string XML file and pull out the len label. I'll do the same thing for large text. Down here, I'll click this. I'll go to new resource. I'll do new string value, and I'll call this one I'll hit OK, and it's there. That's a little clunky to hit all those buttons. You can preset these. If you expand your resource folder, you also have a values folder underneath there. And here are four XML documents. The one that we just edited is strings at XML. I'm going to open up strings at XML. And we see here, this was the app name. This was generated for us when I built my project. Len label I just built, wid label I just built. If I don't like those names, I can change them here. If I don't like the properties, I can change them here. Adding strings just by emulating these XML elements. This string's going to be used for my first button. And this last string is going to be for my output label. With these document or these strings in this document, I can now use them back on my activity. So I'll click my first button. Again, I'll set my text. Again, I hit my resources, but now I can scroll down. And there are my resources I pre-built. For large text here at the bottom, that's going to be my answer. I'm going to start by putting 0, 0.0 there. That way my user knows that something's going to appear there, an answer will appear there. Since I haven't calculated anything yet, 
the area of nothing is still nothing. Um, the colors XML document is similar. We open that one up. I have a list of colors, typical RGB values. If I wish to use these, again, I type in the color. Notice how you cannot mess up the XML. You really have to go out of your way to do something wrong here. If you're going to build your own colors, do not forget the pound sign. Android will be very angry with you if you try to use a color that does not have the pound sign. One thing I enjoy, if you look over here on the right, it gives you a preview of what the color is. Again, I can use this back in my main activity. Go to my backgrounds. If I didn't want to pre-build a color, you have your color selected here, but I picked my light purple. There it is. Hit OK. And voila, I have a purple backgrounds. So these documents, colors XML, strings XML, are used by the wise Android programmer to pre-build their strings for easy reuse later. In another video I'll show you how to internationalize these and pull these strings out in the Java code.